Hey y'all, how you perkin'? I hope you're perkin' good. So, Gabby Hanna. Everybody has been asking for a video on Gabby Hanna. I don't even know what I'm supposed to, what answers I'm supposed to be getting around Gabby Hanna, but we're gonna look into this today and see what comes up. So, I am a licensed mental health clinician as well as a spiritual intuitive and did these videos, and did, did these videos, in these videos we take a look at the tea with the tarot. These videos are always meant to be helpful, not hateful, so if you're down with that, join the family here. We'd love to have you. And old peen sweater is matching mama again. We got our blues on today. Yes, we do. <laughs> we got our blues. Oh, man. Ooh, 444. Four, four. I don't know if y'all are going to be able to see that if I hold it up. Yeah, you do. If the light would get out the damn way. I can't do this. 444. Four, four. There you go. <laughs> On Tuesday, May the 4th. So, may the 4th be with you. I know. I'm a nerd. Lots of us are. And we love it. I have a oh, missed opportunity. Actually... Please hold. Please hold. Look at this. Look. <laughs> I've had this dress for a million and one years because it's just one of those really cheapy, easy, breathable, fun dresses like you can wear over your bathing suits and stuff. Uh, yeah, I don't need, I got this online. I don't even know. Oh, it just says, Star Wars by Her Universe, extra small, is what it says here. I don't even know what store I got this from. I don't know if you can Google it and find it nowadays. I have no damn clue, but <laughs> I should put the hanger over and have that on as an honorary May the 4th, but <laughs> there's that. There's that missed opportunity on wearing it. I'm not about to try to take this off, although it would be too easy to just rip this because... It's backless. <laughs> so, anyway, may the fourth be with all of you. <laughs> okay? Okay. Sorry, I hit your eyeballs there, girl. Oh, sorry, 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 Penelope. So, anywho, let's go ahead and get into this. Um, for everybody who is new here, or even if you're not new here subscribe if you haven't already or if you've been unsubscribed and your notification bell should look a little something like this down below if you're gonna get notified but please check back on my profile page because lord knows youtube drops the ball this is the join button if you want to be a part of the perk squad perk squad gets five extra perks you get custom emojis that i designed that you get to use here and only here you get badges that are colored by your name lots of different colors to suggest how long you've been a member of the perk squad you get exclusive videos exclusive posts and exclusive video shout outs like this one shout out to you jessica holt shout out to you thank you for being a part of the perk squad and just thank you for a lot of things because you and I have chatted some uh, offline as well and, and I appreciate that, appreciate your friendship and all of that. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Happy to have you here. Alrighty y'all. So let's go ahead and get into this about Gabby Hanna. We got the cards pulled up and we're going to move this microphone, this microphone, this microphone, right chair, right chair. Yes. Oh. There you go. Now we can still see both your eyeballs there, girl. <laughs> Lord, help me. Let me get shuffled up here. Let's do this. Ooh, I'm making all my sticky notes fly away. Whoopsie daisy. So, what if anything, spirit guides and angels and archangels around me, do we need to know, or can we know, I should say, um, as it relates to Gabby Hanna? what's going on, her future, things like that, just in general. And all of this is all alleged, just my interpretation, okay? All alleged. All right, let's see here. Let us see right here. Mm -mm. 
Okay, let's see. Interesting, interesting. So, and I will preface this by saying, I've never watched a Gabby Hanna video. I don't follow her on anything. I never have. Um, so I don't know much about her. There's that. Uh, but y'all are asking for a reading on her. So we're looking and seeing. Without even pulling any context cards on this, already I'm seeing with this Queen of Swords in reverse, there's something that she's not seeing clearly. Uh, that It's like she's got fuzz over her eyes and she can't accurately see it. Um, and it's something that's going to lead to disappointment for her in a physical and emotional sense because pinnacles are physical and cups are emotional. This is a physical and emotional sense. She's going to be making moves or doing things that can contribute to her losing relationships so i don't know if this is romantic relationships um or if this card is platon platonic relationships i don't know but she is she runs the risk of pushing people away with whatever it is she's got going on with this queen of pentacles in reverse uh there's something here where um she might trip herself up some kind of way you know how if you say something or you do something and you take it a little too far and you end up shooting yourself in the foot some sort of way that's kind of what this is looking like right here i'm actually going to pull a few more on this what about like shooting herself in the foot in what kind of way Ooh, this one fell out Okay, in terms of her decision making, so she's making decisions blindly. This I don't know if you can even see the blindfold on this on this card right here. It's not going to be able to focus if I'm up that close. Oh, yeah, it is. That blindfold. It's like she's making certain decisions without having her eyes fully open, so to speak. Um figuratively, obviously. And that could be a part of what gets in her way. Ooh. With the Nine of Swords here, I I do hate to say this, but I'm going to say this. And remember, I've already mentioned that I'm a licensed mental health clinician. This card sometimes comes up when we're talking about mental health challenges. And it is possible that her potential mental health challenges could be a part of what gets in her way and misconstrues these uh this ability to to think and make these decisions remember how i said she's kind of blindfolded here uh making decisions kind of blindly it looks like there are some mental health challenges that might be clouding her ability to do that now i have heard that she is in therapy in some form or fashion seeing specialists or something like that i don't know good good we should wish everybody that needs something has access to something some kind of way. In fact, as a practitioner myself, I tend to think literally every person on the planet could benefit from some form of help or therapy. So, you know, not throwing stones on this, but it is also a, a real potential that it does happen in real life that things that are mental health related do get in people's way sometimes. Um, things can happen and it can happen. This is not an ideal world. Uh, so I, I see that there. <sighs> Looks like she's got... Uh, ooh. Ooh. Um, okay, I'm just going to throw this out there again. This is just my interpretation all alleged um there might be some issues here with overconfidence uh some sort of a way with her um and in that kind of a way you see this this is a card where it's like okay we get knocked down and we kind of have to stay down so she could be overconfident mistakenly and say something or do something thinking that she could really bounce back from that and that she doesn't fully bounce back from that that it's not as easy to get back in, let's say, people's good graces or whatever from that. That in this way, it's kind of like, eh, we can't, you know, put those horses back in that stable. Um, they're out and about now. 
kind of thing. Oh, man. All right, y'all. I'm telling you. I'm saying all... I'm just reading the cards as they are. And I am not intending to throw any digs or any hate. I have said that before. So, just so you know. With this card, this card sometimes comes up for people who are not super emotionally mature or don't have a super high emotional intelligence. There are a lot of people who know that about themselves and there are some people who don't realize that about themselves. And given that they put a card up here about overconfidence and now bring up this, my concern here is that she may be overconfident in ways that she emotionally kind of can't back that up or it's or one thing saying this and the other thing is saying another and it's like wait a second you know you're saying this but you're showing this or you know you're do you're saying this but this is what your behavior shows and there's a contradiction there or something along those lines so just throwing that out there as well again they're bringing up the sense of people around her and potential friendships or relationships of sorts could even be in some sense working relationships because we do have the lover's card over here um and there is something businessy that feels like it's going on here so she could she could unintentionally maybe mess up some some business things for herself um or i don't know if i would want to say mess up but get in her own way as it relates to her business ventures um i guess we'll put it that way who yeah see because this seven of pentacles in reverse says there could be some cer certain things business ideas that she has in her mind and she's pretty sure she's going to be able to get the ball rolling on it or she's already got the ball rolling on it one of the two and this card here is like yeah and it's just never really going to come to fruition though you know you're going to kind of keep waiting and spinning your wheels and it's not really going to come around so seeing this card here it's like can whoo can somebody help her not to get in her own way? Uh, help her help herself, you know? Um, because I don't think she would want to, to manifest some of these things. Uh, yeah. With the Wheel of Fortune upright, this is kind of karmic. Uh, it is a karmic wheel. It's a what goes around comes around type of wheel. So, you know how what is the phrase like so shall you sow so shall you reap or something like that as you sow so shall you reap something along those lines um there's something like that in here for her so there are certain seeds that she has planted um uh, over time i guess and it looks like those are in motion to come pay it back for her and as things come pay back for her the good things will pay back for her in good ways awesome but also the not so good things will come and pay back in not so good ways so oof oof uh mm, emperor card who are you here Emperor card, full card here. Let me pull, push these away so I can take this. Let me just do this with two hands so I can make some sense here and not be so messy. All right, let me shuffle all these back up. I want to see where this is taking us. I'm going to just let this little rabbit hole do itself here. Let this rabbit hole do itself. That was not among my more intelligent things to come up with here. <laughs> Shit. Yeah, Lord, help me. Lord of mercy. Alrighty. Where are we going with this? Ooh. Okay. As the dogs out there are bork borking at something, hopefully y'all aren't going to be able to hear that. It doesn't matter if a car stops somewhere else it has nothing to do with me or this house <laughs> bork 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 i'm a chihuahua bork 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 
All right, so let's see here. Where do we want context? Card? I kind of, I kind of want some several context cards. I'm gonna get a context card on this. Ooh, context card over here. Hmm. Okay. Context card over here. Ooh, get another one over here. Uh, see, I knew it. We got that card again that was coming up for her a second ago, but now it's coming up again over here in a different type of position. So, okay. What is looking like here? Um... There's a mix of good and not so good. Uh, with this Emperor card here and the Hangman upright, the positive here is that she, at least from what it looks like here, isn't necessarily going to do something that could like completely 100% cancel her where she can't put anything else out and she can't do anything. She got to hide away and she can't see the light of day. You know, that kind of like you're gone type of thing. I'm not seeing that here. I'm not seeing that here, but I am seeing a press pause on her progress kind of thing. So I am seeing some sort of hitting a ceiling in terms of how far she's gone or it can go like it to what I know and I know very little that she's done YouTube and Vine and music and things and that her career kind of like you know boomed from there this is kind of like when you hit oh gosh doorbell rang scared the shit out of me just now lord help okay I'm gonna leave that in except for the bork borkers all right let me go get them. Okay, I think the chaos in our house is going down. <laughs> Lord, <laughs> all this bork borking and bell ringing got me jumpy. I can't take this. Hashtag anxiety. <laughs> Lord, anybody else so anxious that they can't even stand the doorbell ring? <laughs> Yo, know, I grew up in the country country in a house where our neighbors were our relatives and we didn't even have a doorbell. Like there was no doorbell. So nowadays living in a place where there's a doorbell and stuff like that and like real neighbors and things. I'm like, how do I deal with this? How do I people? I can't cope. You know, whatever. Um, anywho. So yeah, I'm seeing this pause button get impressed on her endeavors. I am seeing that. The full card here again. This is someone... And we're getting it here with the Page of Cups, too. Remember how we are talking about emotional immaturity? And the Fool card, y'all know, in a lot of my readings, I'm not making this up, that this stands a lot of time for youth, young people. So there's something here. Okay. Ugh, I... It's hard to say this because I don't want this to get taken as rude as really mean because I swear I do not mean it this way. I'm just talking about what pops up in my head because that's how I do as I read tarot intuitively. There's a thing in the past um, that some coworkers used to call um, high, like high functioning adolescent where they would call an adult a high functioning adolescent basically. And, and, and that was not a kind name to call people. So I don't want to call her that, but what they intended to mean by that was that it was someone in an adult body functioning in an adult world where they still somehow internally were kind of thinking and being somewhat like a teenager might think and be in some ways. Um, and that's kind of the stuff that's coming up here for Gabby. So again, it looks like there are some things emotionally that she could be working on more than just mental health challenges, but around, um, you know, emotional maturity and things along that line, emotional intelligence, stuff like that. Um, and again, this is just my interpretation of the cards. This is all alleged and I'm not intending anything rude by her. Um, death card upright and the star card right after it. It's hard when I get um, these two next to each other because especially with that one here, she might have, she might have, okay, 
she might have something really unsettling happening in her life in the future. I don't know if it pertains to her or a loved one or someone that she cares about. But, you know, think of situations like, you know, how hard it is if a loved one passes away or if you lose a really close friendship or um, romantic relationship or something like that. Or, you know, if you were to say, um, get cut off by a certain brand or, um, somebody that you worked with or collabed with or, or something like that, there's, there is a chance in the future that she could be experiencing something that would to her be a pretty heavy hard hit maybe even using the word like a, a devastating hit for her um and that would influence her career stuff as well uh some sort of way so gotta throw that out there not necessarily the best thing to see here for her um but again they're saying this is the judgment card it's because she is a uh, this is repeating itself. Remember before when we got the the card um, with the the Wheel of Fortune upright and we were talking about this kind of karmic cycles and things going around and coming around. The judgment card is like, okay, it's now it's it's your turn for reaping what you've sown in the good ways and the not good ways. Uh, and over here, these are cards about... Like her being like, come hell or high water, I'm going to get what I feel like I deserve. But this is like, mm, it doesn't really happen that way. That's not really how it works. And then we have the Queen of Wands in reverse. So overconfident while also being like upset that what you feel like should happen for you doesn't happen for you. So again, it kind of has a, how we were talking about kind of that, that, uh, adolescent type of vibe you know when when some young people might be like well I deserve that and I'm supposed to have it and blah 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 and it, kind of entitlement or whatever it does feel like that it feels like there's something that might come up in in the future where it's like but I'm owed this I deserve this I should get this whatever but it's not really coming to pass in the way that she's wanting it to and I'm seeing her kind of pitch a hissy about it but it's not other people's fault, what I'm seeing here. So this is kind of a hard read because it, the cards are not saying the, the best of things. But I don't want to be taken as, you know, that I'm being a shithead about it. <laughs> because I don't tend to. Um, oh, man. Let me pull these up and we'll just say, what is it that Gabby needs to know for if she would have ever see this? And I really doubt she would. And if she would, I doubt she'd make it this far. But if she would ever see this, is there anything that the spirit guides feel like she should know or that they'd want to send a message across to her? So let's see. Let's see. Mm-hmm. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, what they're saying is do not continue this type of brain fuzz that we were talking about earlier about not having the best judgment calls and things like that, not seeing cl that clearly. Don't continue that and don't continue the emotional immaturity and also try to take focus away from looking at these three cups that have fallen down before you and instead turn your focus to these two cups that are still standing up behind you because the universe is trying to give a gift to her some sort of way the universe is trying to help her out it's trying to give her something it's trying to give her a leg to stand on and something to use and to help her out it wants her to have the best things and yet here we go again we see the same thing right you see a cloud over here with the hand giving a pinnacle now we see the cloud over here with a hand giving a cup okay so this is tangible stuff like finances career things like that this is emotional stuff and the universe is sitting here giving both to her and it looks like she's got her arms crossed but humph, i wanted these and i wanted it this way and so it's almost like she can't see 
what she has been given and what she is being given and what she will be given because it's not the way that she exactly would have wanted it or feels like she deserves it or something like that. So they're saying that she's missing out on feeling these great things and receiving these great things because she's either without meaning to uh, putting up blocks to them or not being grateful for the things that that she's got some kind of a way here so there's from what i'm seeing here they're wanting her to have an emotional and a mental reset of sorts they're saying do not continue this they're wanting to ha her to have a bit of a reset and that would ta that would take taking a hard look you know at the ways that these things could be true they've said some things that are not the easiest to hear none of us would want to hear these things about ourselves some of these things even when they're said with care and with love and compassion it's hard to hear but sometimes if we're able to take a look at that and just kind of swallow that down you know then we're able to go from there and so i'm just happy that she's you know seeing a therapist some sort of a way trying to work through some things some sort of a way that's great that's on the right path you know that's awesome it's just these are the things that they're trying to say for her uh for her to grab a hold of um so just throwing that out there just throwing that out there um then let me see gonna shuffle one more time just real quick real quick anything else for gabby hannah's future that we could know anything else for gabby hannah's future real quick that we could know chariot card is saying something coming to a stop something coming to a stop because of pride and entitlement again not getting what she wants out of things feeling unhappy this is not getting your happily ever after card and then this is her having a should have had a v8 moment and picking up from there so it looks like there could be something in the future to come and by some sort of a way whether it seems related or unrelated to her own doing that there's something that could come along and for lack of a better way of saying it humble her a little bit and kind of get her back on a on a different kind of path a path that might be more effective for her might be something that would um steer her in a in a different and more improved direction than what she has currently been on and so that's a good thing i i am imagining that this is not going to be a comfortable event for her to go through for this to show this it looks like it'll be very uncomfortable but it would lead to something that makes the event ultimately worth it in the grand scheme of things if that makes sense so that's what I'm looking at here. If you'd like a private w reading with me, then the description box below, you can schedule a private reading yourself. Um, my website's there, www.beestalksandtarot.com. Um, and yeah, yeah, this is interesting. Like I said, I've got nothing against her. If I'm trying to be as completely fair as i can then i will say in fairness there is one aspect of her that i do not appreciate and that is that sometimes people who have a bachelor's in psychology and also sometimes people who are going through therapy because of their brush with therapy they think they know a lot about mental health stuff in the ways that they feel inspired to teach others and i think that that can for me be a bit irksome as someone who has a bachelor's also in psychology but then i went on to get my master's and then i went on to get my licensure to practice and things like that and it's like me now <laughs> with all the experience and the degrees and the licensure looking back on how much i knew when i only had the the bachelor's in psychology and was a patient a client receiving care i if i were the type to try to be teaching people things then the the b of now is like oh god please don't do that please 
you know, be of the past. Please stop. Don't do that. And so sometimes I'm just like, I can't look uh, when I see her doing some things like that. And again, I don't follow her, but, you know, people have been posting a lot about her and stuff. And so I do see those posts and things. And I, I would advise that unless you are a professional in that, I know you might be excited about what you're learning or you might be excited about what you've learned in your own personal therapeutic experience and I would encourage that when you go to express that and you share that that you do it from a place of I'm expressing this and sharing this on my own journey um, but this is not me teaching anything to you and um, I don't want to say anything that could be potentially misleading or incorrect. And so just know if you're going to be watching my shared experience, if you want the technicals, watch somebody else or, res- or do some fact checkers or something like that. Look at some facts, whatever, you know, have some sort of a, of a different way of sharing and expressing something like that. Some kind of disclaimers, something when, when you speak in a way where it seems like you feel like you're an authority on something, it's just that's not that's not good so I will say if in all transparency sake that is one thing that I would have noticed um that I'm not too keen on outside of that I don't know enough about her to say anything about anything else I haven't been following her I don't know anything to to mention anything on anything else and I just hope that she has a good mental health journey ahead and that if there's things she needs to learn, lessons she needs to learn, like what the cards were talking about, that she's able to have opportunities to learn those. And that people like us who are watching give her the grace to do that. Because anytime we've been the not so great versions of ourselves, we wanted people to have grace with us as we tried to travel into a better version of ourselves. So if there's a way that 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 we can hold that space for her, then I say, let's do it, you know? So given some, some criticisms and then, uh, also some positive stuff here that I'd like everybody else to remember who might be criticizing her. So, um, just give just a little bit there. I'm gonna get off my soapbox now. Get off. I'm gonna step down now. Um, so yeah, if you'd like a private reading, hit me up description box below at my website um and i reckon don't be a stranger come back and see me and i will talk at you later